It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking congruent or not congruent relative to transformations. Here's our question today. A student performed three sequences of transformations on triangle ABC on a coordinate plane. We're asked to determine whether the resulting image after each sequence of transformations is congruent to triangle ABC. So here you're going to select congruent or not congruent right here, congruent, not congruent for each sequence of transformations in the table. So the first, the second, and the third. So here we have three sequences of transformations, and you're going to determine if each has a resulting image that is congruent or not congruent to the original triangle. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So to understand this, first we're going to list our transformations, our types. We have translation, reflection, rotation, and dilation. Those are the four types of transformations that are listed in those sequences. And we want to determine if the image after these transformations will result a congruent image or a not congruent image. So let's talk about translation first. A translation is really, think of it as a shift or a slide in the coordinate plane. So you could be going left, right, up, or down, or a combination of all those. So the image does not change size or shape when this happens. It just is shifted or slid to a new location. So therefore, to be a translation, the image must be congruent to the original figure. Reflection. Think of that as a mirror image. So when you look in the mirror, you see a reflection of yourself. So you're going to reflect the image maybe over the x-axis, over the y-axis, or the equation of a given line. But when you reflect it, it has to be a congruent image identical to the original. So reflection is going to go in the congruent category. If it's not a congruent image, it's not a reflection. Now let's talk about rotation. A rotation is a spin or a turn in the coordinate plane. So if you rotate it maybe about the origin, you could rotate it about a point, you're turning it a, a set number of degrees called um, the center of rotation is where you're turning it around. It could be the origin or a point and then the degree of rotation. So you could do it 90 degrees, 180 degrees, but you're turning it. So you're not changing the size or shape the image is going to be congruent to the original image. Otherwise, it's not a rotation. So we're going to put rotation in our congruent category. Now, our last type of transformation is called a dilation. A dilation is an absolute change in size. It does not change the shape of the figure, but you increase it, called an enlargement by a scale factor, or you reduce it by a scale factor and make it smaller. So think of a dilation as if you've ever been to the eye doctor and had your pupils dilated before so that they're enlarging them so that the eye doctor can look into your eye and see what your what's going on in there. So they put drops in there, they dilate your eye, making it larger, and then that's what it is. So dilation is not congruent, the image because it's either going to be larger or smaller, but remember it doesn't change the shape. It just changes the size, and all of these are similar figures, but not congruent. So now that we understand congruent and not congruent, let's take this information back to our problem. So we're going to bring that forward. So if it's congruent to triangle ABC, it's going to have been a translation, a reflection, or a rotation. If it's not congruent, the image will have been a dilation of the original triangle. So now when we look at each of these three sequences, we're going to look at the command. What transformation was done to the triangle? So in the first sequence, they translated it and then reflected it. It really is immaterial to know the specific amount of units that it went to the right or where it was reflected over, because we know that if it was a translation, it results a congruent image. And if it was a reflection, it results a congruent image. So therefore, it will be congruent. Nothing was done to change its size. Second, they rotate about the origin and then they dilate with a scale factor. So because they're rotating, no change in size, dilation, 
is going to be a change in size. Here, it's increasing. The scale factor is greater than one, so it will be an enlargement, which we didn't need to know. We just know that if it's a dilation, it's not going to be congruent. There's been a change in size. And our third is rotate followed by reflect, and both rotate and reflect result congruent images. Therefore, after both of these, we will have a congruent triangle. So there you have it. When you translate, reflect, or rotate, you get a congruent image. And when you dilate, your image will be similar, but not congruent. And that is how we determine congruent or not congruent when we're talking about transformations. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you come back soon.